Mabuhay mga kumare! Welcome to the Secret Lounge where we will get to know more of your favorite beauty queens and pageant kings. As in, we will talk about everything. This is your Maring Mary Jean. Relax ka lang dyan. Dahil today, sagot ko ang Cheka! Yes, it's you. Still in the running is Miss Philippine. The third runner-up of 2023 Miss International goes to Miss Philippine, Nicole Bolomeo. Congratulations. Ako, hindi niyo na-expect to. Pero na-expect ko to. Ang nagpasaya sa buong Pilipinas noong October ang ating Miss International Third Runner-Up 2023, Nicole Borromeo! Yay! Grabe! Thank you so much. I know you just got back kasi nag-stay kayo ng matagal since you're part of the top five in Japan. Yes. And then you're busy with your media tour right now. Oh, yes. yes. Naka-uwi ka na ba ng Cebu? Not yet. But we're, but we're already planning our homecoming, so I can't wait to go back, see my family, wow. see my friends. Wow! Another home. Bisaya Beauty. Grabe, napakarami. Hindi na namin mabilang kung ilang Bisaya Beauties ay nag-guest at the Secret Lounge with Maring MJ. Pero congratulations. How was your experience in Tokyo? Honestly, it was enriching. I was welcomed by a wonderful group of Filipinos who arranged a meet and greet for me what? before the pageant. Yes. They're from there in yes, Tokyo? Yes. Wow. Shout out to Tita Malin Cabrera. Free Barbusa. <laughs> Nakakatawa. So yeah, how did they so got, got in touch with you or the family or well, Free Barbusa, he's a friend of mine from uh -uh. Cebu and he uh -uh. moved to Japan years mm. ago. He's also a designer. Mm -mm. And when he found out that I was flying in for the competition, mm. he he told his relatives like, Hey, Nicole Borromeo's All in. Let's, yeah, let's <laughs> arrange something for her and it was just so sweet that they would do that for me. So the moment I got to the pageant, I've already settled in. And mm. it was easy to meet people. And right. the fact that the girls were all so kind was even better to hear because mm -mm. sometimes you would hear rumors on how it can know, be right? like, right? But <laughs> that was not the case, not with Miss International. Everyone was an angel to me. Everyone was so easygoing. And you, you're really spending the first few weeks just immersing yourself in the culture, right? Like, I think with other pageants, you have how many days worth of practicing for prelims, practicing mm -hmm. for the night itself, but ours was just maybe three days before the Really? Three days? That's when we really started doing rehearsals. That's when we really started to, like, wow. have practice. Yeah, but the rest was all, like, like courtesy visits, food, uh -huh. cultural immersion, kimono wear, you name it. <laughs> two weeks? The pageant itself was two weeks, so... Uh -huh. But I was there four days before, and okay. then we stayed five days after, and uh -huh. then I extended a little bit more. So uh -huh. that was close to a month in Japan, and wow. it's just such, a, such an amazing place to fall in love with. I want to so, yes, go there. Very, very enriching. Based on your answer, a lot expected for you to get the crown. What do you think happened? I think when it comes to doing pageants, you need like more than just hard work. Mm. You need more than dedication. You need luck, right? Right. And, 
people always say like, if it's your night, it's your night. It's written in the stars. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And I believe that everything happens for a reason, mm -hmm. and God's plan is bigger than my own. And I genuinely believe that Andrea deserved that title. She's she's a queen in her own right. She's someone to look up to, and mm. she's got the qualities that Miss International values. I like to think that I have the qualities that could win Miss International. Mm -hmm. Colombia has the qualities. That could win. All the girls have the chance, and in the end, there's only one title. So right, compared to coronahan lahat. Exactly, right? I, but I'm proud to say that I did. Are you I friends with Andrea? Yes, she's she's honestly like a big sister. Just listening to mm. her life and her mm. stories, she's. And you know what? What I thought was really fun about her was, for this competition, she had this whole thing called the microphone. Oh. <laughs> so she brought this bejeweled, beautiful microphone to Japan, and she would go up to the candidates and say like, "Oh, um, how would you describe your experience in one word? Oh, how would you like what's Is she something? Recording it? What's something in your country that you would? She, they're just like these." Cute little snippets uh -huh. that she would post on her Instagram. And I thought that was really fun. You know, That's like it's cute. it's refreshing to mm -hmm. see new ideas come to life and how right. like the evolution of pageantry, like the way that it's going out. It's more than just looking pretty and mm -hmm. smiling and waving. It's being a personality, right. being someone worth knowing. And she's really. She's really something. Well, that's good to hear that you guys, like the top five, are very, you know, supportive of each mm -hmm. other, de ba? Walang bitter, walang <laughs> nagpost the next day na I deserve. <laughs> How dare you, de ba? That's no, no, no. so nice. That's such a nice feeling. You're one of Cebu's multi-titled queen. Why do you think the Bisayas are slaying all of our national pageants? I like how you use the word slay, like we're all the time. Like we're, like we're warriors. <laughs> Kahit on the national stage, I think the Cebuanas are always like the slayer. <laughs> I want I want to I want to know your thoughts on, on like what, what what's so different about us, but as someone who's from Cebu, I like to think it's our it's our warmth. Mm. Like when we when we do the things we do, we always try to put our most authentic self out there that when we meet people, it's it's coming from our hearts, mm -mm. you know, and we genuinely want to get to know you, and we still have that laid back. I like I, I, I like to think that I'm a more laid back person than than I would feel inside. That when we meet people, it's always from a genuine place. Ah, lalo ko mas maalat ang lechon sa sibuyas. Oh, then especially the lechon. Oh my God, the way we love our food. We cut Pero different too. Pero talaga, no? Kailangan nating mapag-aralan yan. On a research study, bakit ang mga sibuyas na laging nananalo sa mga beauty pageant? What's next for Nicole? Pageants pa rin ba? Or do you wanna go showbiz now? Or do you wanna focus on career outside pageant? You know, I am actually very genuinely curious about show business. So oh. I want to see what what it's like out there. Okay, I'm not going to close any doors. Mm. If it comes to me, I'd love to take the opportunities. I will be taking a break from pageants for sure. I mean, mm -hmm. when you're in the position like mine, you know everything's you've possible. Heard about it. <laughs> <laughs> Lalo na ngayon, you have so many options. <laughs> There's no age limit. <laughs> yes, no age limit. <laughs> but, um, you know, being crowned over a year ago and right. preparing for a pageant. Nakakapagod din na, no? It's, it's a really... You invest so much. You yes. know, from money, from your time. Mm -mm. You're really putting your cards all in. Right. Right? And I had to do that. I had to take a break from school specifically for the pageant. So now is going to be a year more focused on myself. Mm -mm. And a lot of self-discovery, right? Like, I want to go back to school. And yeah, we'll, we'll see the opportunities. Maybe I'll go into hosting like you oh, one day. Oh, of I'll... course you can. And that made our pageants in the Philippines. But then, your case and Hannah's case are a special one because mm -hmm. you really waited for a year, the right? just Very to long. compete. So and I have I to can give, imagine. I have to give a lot of credit to Hannah there because mm -hmm. if it weren't for her going through that wait first, I wouldn't know how to deal with the amount of patience you need yeah, to, right. have to, to like be with international folks. Yes, yes. I, and whenever I felt doubtful, I was glad that she was an open book. She mm. was always there to give me advice. Mm -mm. She was always there to like tell me what went wrong in her case mm. and that I could learn from, what I could improve. I, I give her so much credit Aww, because if she waited even much. longer, <laughs> she waited right? longer sweet than I did. Girl, so, sobrang sweet mm -hmm. na friend ni Hannah. Yeah. So she's always giving you advices every Yeah, absolutely. That's really she's, good. I actually met her for the first time in like one of the fashion shows back in Cebu. Mm -mm. It, it was long before I joined Bini Bining Filipinas. And the moment you meet her, she's like this 
glowing. No, she's like a, she's like the sun. Right, she's just right. like, Hi, nice to meet you. And I'm just like, wow. And when I finally decided to join Beanie Beanie and I met her again, I was so surprised when she was like, I remember you. Yeah, we oh. met that one time. Because, you know, you meet so many meet, people. Yeah, what are every the chances? Day. Right, she, right. She'd be turning over her crown to me. It's, Aww. And, and her, I found moment. a friend. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's really nice to see Aww. like your Hi, Hannah. heroes. <laughs> Shout out to you, Hannah. <laughs> okay. Rumors say that Bini Bini International will be the only crown left under the franchise. Mm. Kung totoo ito, ano sa tingin mo ang magiging epekto nito sa organization? Well, I think that when these things happen, it's in good faith, right? Mm -hmm. Like with the organization, they've been doing this for decades. Yeah. Bini Bini Pilipinas is the most prestigious pageant. With Madame Stella as the exactly. first ever. So <laughs> They would know more than what I would. I, I frankly did admire the idea of multiple crowns. Yeah. But if if the chances are it's only one, then so be it. it there's more pressure for the girls next right. year. And I heard it's also their 60th year. I know, exactly. I'm so, so excited for that. In spite yeah. of it being one crown, mm -mm. I think it's gonna be bonga still. Yeah, whatever it is, Binibining mm -hmm. Pilipinas has been, always been, yeah. standard of pageantry that's, in the Philippines. That, that's saying, right? People go, once a beanie beanie? Always a beanie beanie, oh, right? Always a beanie beanie. And it hits so <laughs> different, right? Yeah, like, right? I feel so proud when I meet somebody and they're like, yeah, you know, I joined back in this year, I joined back in that year. And it's like, you're instantly connected because So of back that. in Cebu, when you were considering joining national pageant, mm -mm. was it beanie beanie Filipinas right away or you were considering other pageants? To be honest, I had looked at my options, you can't help but imagine, right? Like, what if I did this other one or this other one? Mm. But it was really thanks to my team, Origin, mm -hmm. and my camp aces and queens. They really sat me down and they said, you know, I think you're really suitable to join Bini Bini in Pilipinas. And I was like, okay, you know better. You <laughs> Let's do it. Let's give it a try. You so know? go with the flow. Hannah. Yeah, so I was like, okay, we'll mm -hmm. see how it goes. Mm -hmm. And who, like, they predicted perfectly because it worked for I you. I got the chance to. Yeah, look at I you. I got to wear Philippines, baby. <laughs> Alam mo, nung October, medyo sad na kasi yung yung ano um, Filipino pageant really? fans. But because of you, na pasaya mo ulit ang buong Pilipinas. Oh my so, God, I feel so good really to hear. Good. Oh, oh, thank talaga. you for that. Thank you, you brought so much happiness to mga kumares na yes. nanonood ngayon. Oh. Tama? Oh. <laughs> Correct. Okay. On to our next segment, ang What You Think, Mare. Dito, makikichismis lang aking mga kumare kung sa mga bagay-bagay na baka maimpluensyahan mo rin silang gawin. Okay, maraming audience sa mga kumare namin. Ang gustong ma-achieve ang Kutis Beauty Queen. Tingnan nyo naman, grabe naman po talaga yan. <laughs> Take us through your daily routine, skin routine. Mm, okay, so I think the most important is your night routine. Do you, do you think I should start with the night or the morning? Ano bang umpisa? Morning muna. Fine, okay. Fine. Pagising sa umaga, di ba? Okay, when I wake up in the uh, morning, I woke up like this. Ganun. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm ready to go. Uh -oh. But the moment I get up, I always make sure to drink the water, right? Stay hydrated. Ay, important yan. Mm, hydration. Mm. And lately, I've been drinking this green juice. Mm -hmm. And it's got like a mix. What's of, in your like, green juice? It's got a mix. It's, it's already like pre-made. Okay. But it has like matcha powder, um, wheat, barley, like all, just a mix of all these things that mm -hmm. I feel like helps with inflammation because mm -hmm. my skin gets really red mm -hmm. and I also have hormonal acne. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that kind of calms it down. I wash my face with this, it's like a peeling gel. Kind of exfoliates the uh -huh. skin, so any dry so skin. exfoliation mm -hmm. first thing. Yeah, and then I, I put a moisturizer on. If I have extra time on my hands, I actually like to put an eye mask, like an under really? eye mask. Really? In the morning? In the morning. I actually oh. did it today. <laughs> because I was like, I'm seeing MJ. But a friend. Gotta give like the full <laughs> experience. I would think I would do that at night. No, but I, I did it. I used to think that too, mm. until I was in Japan. And ah. until, like makeup artists do it as well. Oh, okay. So I would put the eye, the under. I so 15 on. minutes. Wala akong 15 minutes sa umaga. No, not even. No, this is a full, right? this is a full, a full morning routine. I'm right? telling you. Like, oh, and then makeup na. Makeup time. No, not even. Not even. Yeah, relax. <laughs> this is going to be a long journey, you and I. I'm going to be sitting here going step by step. I, I have like this little jade roller that I okay. put in the freezer. Uh -oh. So while the eye mask is 
Yeah. That's to close the pores, yeah, naman. Yeah. Going under, Cause it's cold. going in on my jade Ooh. roller, and if I have extra time, I'll put in the gua sha step. <laughs> like the drainage. Is it cold the... as well? Because I'm gonna put both of mine <laughs> in the ref. Uh, for the gua sha, I don't put yeah, it in the it ref. Have to. I actually use the gua sha right after I put the moisturizer, so that becomes like the <laughs> like that's what we to absorb mm. to, to let your skin absorb yeah, the moisturizer. The moment I go into like that's basically my whole morning routine. Well, then I go straight to makeup, which is like mm -hmm. the primers, mm -hmm. the setting sprays, the. the actually, what sunscreen do you use? I actually <laughs> have a very cheap one from the US, and it's yeah. very thin. Because the bus sunscreen is very important. So exactly. I mean, I've been really just you know experimenting. Yeah. So I found one like I think skincare is a matter of experiments. It, the, yeah. it doesn't mean that your favorite artist is using it or like that it's gonna it's work the popular thing on yeah. TikTok. Like it's gonna work for you. It's mm -hmm. really like I think I've wasted so much money on skincare. But in your step, in your skincare routine, which like where do you insert the sunscreen? The sunscreen is it, is it before after the moist, after, after a moisturizer, the moisturizer, and then you put your prime on. Oh, okay, right you before did, the prime. You did, not you? Say, you did not say the primer. <laughs> oh, you want me to say the primer? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. At like, night, naman, what's your routine? Oh, so for the night, uh, it's I actually use baby oil to remove my makeup. Oh really? Yeah. So when it comes to like my eyes, you don't get acne from oil. I only use it here. Okay. I don't. I don't like put it all around okay, my face. Okay. Micellar water just does not do yeah, enough for the eyes. Yeah. But for the rest of my face, that's what I use micellar water. Mm -hmm. And then I, I go in with my facial wash, my cleanser. And I have this little, I have this little, this vibrating. Another. This know. vibrating. Thing. No, 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 I let it air dry instead of like going in with the ah. towels, you know, so it's get that hydration in somehow. And I use an AHA toner mm -hmm. that was prescribed by my derma, mm -hmm. clindamycin. For acne, I use Epido, Epiduo, which is like mm -hmm. a mix of benzoyl peroxide and this other ingredient, I'm not too sure. For the, for the dark spots, because I tend to prick my pimples. I know, it's, it's a really it's bad, a bad habit. habit. <laughs> it's, a really, it's like they say, don't touch it, don't touch it. And I'm just like, I have to. Yeah. It's, like, like, I swear, it's, it's gonna get and better. You don't ever put your hands on your face. So mm -hmm. I really try to remind myself, no, hands don't, off, hands don't, off. Don't, don't put, I'm like staring at it in the face. I'm like, I just have to give. And then I regret it after. Right. Yeah, and then I'm left with this horrible red bump on my face. So for the dark spots that are left behind from mm. that, I have this um, Kojic. Like so, Kojic papaya cream mm -hmm. that I that I apply at night, and I'm ready for bed. I still don't put a moisturizer. How about when you're tired? Grabe, mm -hmm. andami mong ginagawa. Yeah. Like when you're tired from the day, you still you I still have manage. To, I have to. I'm right. not I'm not as blessed as as many people. My sister actually has like amazing skin. Like mm -hmm. she can probably fall asleep with makeup on mm -hmm. and wake up the next day looking the flawless. Skin. Yeah, mm -hmm. but in my case, hindi ko kaya. I really have to go through it. Otherwise, I, I will wake up the next day. I also have PCOS, so I can relate with you. But what I did was the diet, yeah. talaga. Like oh diet gosh. was a major part like, of no, it. No dairy, no cheese, yes. right? Mm -mm. What else is there to remove? <laughs> no carbs. Yes, a lot, a lot Sugar. actually. In your diet is, you know, it plays a big part in your yes. PCOS. But what do you do when you have cravings then? I don't. I fight them. Because when you look in the mirror, you should be happy. Eh. <laughs> That's the exactly. power of it. But it. The, does it need to be expensive, all your, the stuff that you use in your face? No, absolutely not. Mm -mm. Anything I get is easily at any drugstore. Mm. I don't believe in brands per Same. se. Like, just because it's branded, it's mm -hmm. gonna, it's 100% effective. Mm -hmm. Even if it's, like, there are things that I've tried ordering off Shopee from, just because I would find the ingredient that's, that's good for potent you. in yeah. the brand. Right. So yes, my suggestion is check the ingredients mm -mm. and what works best for you. You can mm -mm. find that mm -mm. in a more inexpensive way. I agree, Nicole. <laughs>
And the fact that this year was really different mm -hmm. for the international organization. Like, for example, they removed the swimsuit. Right. Um, there were 70 countries, unlike mm -hmm. the years prior, I think there were less. Mm -hmm. And they even added a Q&A portion rather than that, right. that the conventional speech, speech yeah, every year. I yeah. was like, wow. So I, getting, I joined at a very interesting time. Yeah. Uh -oh. And aside from the momentum, the, the satisfaction you feel after the pageant is its very interesting because it's not the same as how you would knowing you, that you're winning and competing the same year. Mm -hmm. I saw on Instagram one of the stories mm -hmm. that I was tagged in and it was a picture of me, Gabby, Roberta and Chelsea together in mm -hmm. our evening gowns. Mm -hmm. that we could, like The international gowns. Yes. And it said like, oh, it's finally complete. And that really struck Aww. me. I was like, because they waited for so long for your gowns to be there. <laughs> <laughs> it's finally there. Yeah, it's finally it there. Felt, it, felt, it felt fulfilling mm. that, wow, we, we can finally close that chapter mm -mm. of my life. And it was nostalgic and makes me miss them. Were you able to, to talk to your batchmates? Not recently, no, because oh. it was all about the, the pageant and when yeah. you're in Japan and the moment you get back, you're like... But Gabby would always say, like, let's hang out, let's hang out. And Gabby, I'm sorry, we'll make time. <laughs> we'll make time. <laughs> well, congratulations. Thank you. Um, you brought so much pride and honor to the country for bringing in such a achievement. <laughs> and to Cebu, I'm, I'm sure it. you're excited na kaya mga bisaya na mm -hmm. makita ka pag ulit ni mo sa Cebu, de ba? Sa so, iyo. So. Maraming maraming salamat Nicole for gracing the Secret Lounge with Maring MJ and I'm sure that it's an honor for your kumare na mapicturean mo naman ako. Yes. Hindi pwedeng hindi mo ko pipicturean, Mari. None. Ready? Three, two, one. Three, two, one. I'm just clicking and clicking. <laughs> okay, after that, you take a photo of me. Okay, because that's the... I'm a good photographer. <laughs> you, yo, I actually, pr I pride myself and we're in my photography today. skills. Just saying. <laughs> we're matchy-matchy today. Thank you. 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 Thank you so much. Pero Thank before you. we end our episode today, last episode na actually natin to, how can we please hear your introduction again? Live. Oh, when I was in Miss International. Yes! I was surprised that on the night itself, we never got the chance to do that. So it was recorded? It was recorded. Mm. Yeah. So I'm happy to do it here. So, okay. <laughs> Wait, do, do I this say... Is your, this is your camera. I don't say Philippines anymore. Now you can say I can Philippines. Say, <laughs> oh, I can say Philippines now. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Nicole Yance Borromeo, Philippines! Yes! <laughs> Thank you, mga kumare! See you! Hello mga kumare! Sana nag-enjoy kayo sa episode, last episode namin today. Um, ang takeaway ko dito kay Maring Nicole ay lahat talaga ng bagay kailangan pagtrabahuan. Ano? Like her international competition, she waited for so long but never lost the grip on her goals and what she wanted to achieve, not just for herself but also for the whole Philippines. And also narinig natin yung na-share niya na she has some problems, she has PCOS. Karamihan actually, kung nakikinig kayo, alam ko maraming mga kababaihan ang nag-experience ng the same thing. So am I, I'm experiencing the same thing. So akala natin lahat mga beauty queen, they're just, we see them as this someone with the perfect image, perfect skin. And we just don't know, like, you know, yung mga kailangan pagdaanan, mentally, emotionally, even with the skincare. She had to do so many things just to maintain a perfectly looking skin because that's what you expect of her, di ba? So lahat talaga ng bagay, pinaghahandaan, pinagtatrabahuan, at pinagtutuunan ng pansin. And sana kayo din. Enjoy mga kumare! Don't forget to subscribe in our channel. See you!